have you ever heard anyone say, I'm legally blind without my glasses? Is that even accurate? Actually, it's totally not accurate. Blindness, especially legal blindness, for the most part, it's a legal definition exactly why it says it in the word, legal blindness. And what it means, and it depends state by state, especially if you're here in the United States, if you're in another country, then what your country classifies as legal blindness might be a little bit different. But it is typically 20 over 200 vision in the better seeing eye with full correction. And correction, we mean glasses or contact lenses or whatever else you need to see to the best of your ability. So those people that are really nearsighted that say that they are legally blind if they take off their glasses, well, they're not really legally blind because if they put their glasses back on, most of them are going to be a perfect 2020. So then they're not legally blind. Now, if they have one eye that is 20 over 200. So what's 20 over 200? When you're sitting in your eye doctor's office and we ask you to read the eye chart, this is not the big E, but basically the line right below it. Now, if you have a digital chart, I can actually go to 20 over 300 from 2400, but it's a pretty big single letter that you can see. I'm not gonna get into the specifics about the log scale of what makes a 20 over 200 E. If you want that, I'll do a whole video on what is 2020 exactly. I've got that one there. But basically 20 over 200 means you're seeing pretty poorly. But for legal blindness, that has to be your vision in the better eye. So not just one eye that's 20 over 200, but both eyes that are 20 over 200 or even worse. Then you are considered legally blind. So in a nutshell, 20 over 200 means when a person with 20 over 200 vision sees a letter Another person with perfect 2020 can stand 200 feet away, whereas the person with the 2200 vision has to stand 20 feet away. So that's 10 times worse than perfect 2020 vision. But it's not just about how small of a letter you can see on an eye chart. There's something also called your visual field. And your visual field is the peripheral vision, what you can see both out to the side here, as well as out over here when you cover this side. So it's your peripheral vision and you have to have a certain degree of central vision to qualify. So if you can only see a very small amount, even if you are a perfect 20 over 20, like you can see the smallest letter, but you have lost all your peripheral vision and you can only see the central 20 degrees, then you are also considered legally blind in many states in America. What we do typically is something called an automated visual field. And that's when you stick your head in a bowl, kind of like this, and then you press a button when you see these bright flashing lights off to the side. Then that charts for us exactly what you're able to see and what you can't. Everybody has a natural blind spot, that's normal. If you don't have the blind spot, then that tells us you're cheating when you take the test. And then depending on how restricted that visual field is, then we can assess if you are legally blind. Things like glaucoma, can leave your vision perfect 2020 right in the center, but cause a huge restriction like tunnel vision uh, for the rest of your field, limiting your peripheral vision and then making you classified as legally blind. So most eye doctors can assist in getting you a classification of legal blindness. And this just helps because then you have more services available to you through the state or through the federal government, especially here in this country. So what are the leading causes of blindness in the world? Globally, the first one really is age-related macular degeneration. So that's when there is deposits in the macula, sometimes even bleeding, scar tissue, all of that which affects your central vision. Cataracts are globally another big cause of blindness, but that's actually correctable with cataract surgery. And then having a glasses prescription and not actually having glasses. Now that's not legal blindness, but it is the, one of the leading causes of decreased vision in the world. And then rounding out the top five changes in your retina from diabetes and glaucoma are number four and five globally. Now in the US, diabetic retinopathy, well, that's a big cause 
for loss of vision and blindness in Americans. That's when your diabetes is so severe that the retina starts bleeding and causing issues either with areas that don't get enough oxygen or they get these new blood vessels that break very easily and hemorrhage or even causing a retinal detachment. That affects about 5 million Americans, diabetic retinopathy. Not necessarily the blindness resulting from it, but it's a big deal. Glaucoma affects 2.2 million Americans and macular degeneration affects 1.6 million Americans. And then one of the most common causes of legal blindness or just decreased vision is retinitis pigmentosa. I have a whole video on that right here about the sweet Canadian family that have a couple children with retinitis pigmentosa and how they are traveling the world. So you can check that out right here. And all retinitis pigmentosa is, it's an inherited group of disorders and there's problems with the retinal cells. It's diagnosed in child, even younger. Usually it causes legal blindness or complete blindness by the age of 40. But there is a big variability in, in terms of how quickly that vision loss can occur or even if it does occur. Other causes of loss of vision, amblyopia. That's when one eye is weaker than the other. This is when children would typically wear a patch on one eye when they're young. Maybe you, this sounds like you, but you never wanted to wear the patch and now your vision is not good in that eye. That can cause legal blindness in one eye, though not legal blindness in terms of the definition where you know you get all the services. So there are a lot of different reasons to have loss of vision or to become blind. Some of them are medical conditions that you were born with, some you develop later in adulthood, some you can treat like wearing a patch that can actually boost the vision when you are younger. You can take a cataract out, cataract surgery can then reverse the blindness. And we can even do laser treatments and intraocular surgeries like retina surgeries to help with diabetic type changes. So a lot of advances are being made even for retinitis pigmentosa where I said that it causes blindness by the age of 40. There is gene therapy that's on the horizon and we can treat the secondary manifestations of that disease. We can take out a cataract, which happens with uh, people with retinitis pigmentosa. We can treat the fluid buildup in the retina as well with um, different types of medications. So a lot of different things that we can do. The most important is to get in to see your ophthalmologist so that we can understand what your natural course is and recommend the best treatment. If you have any questions about blindness, causes or just the definition of it drop them in the comment below i read all of the comments and i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any other topics you'd like for me to address put those in the comments below too i'd be happy to address them until next time i'm dr rupa it's good to see you bye bye